Okay, so um, today, I'm gonna um, uh, I'm gonna um, I'm gonna how to make a uh, a teleport place thingy. So when you touch a part, it will like teleport you to somewhere. So uh, first, you need to like go to your game that you're gonna do. Uh, I'm gonna go to the game that I've been practicing scripting. Uh, when I when I first did no scripting, I, I was practicing here. So I'm gonna go here. Uh, so, yeah, sure, man, sure. Uh, so here, I mean, I mean, like few stuff that can do it here, like the button door and the board and stuff like that. So this is actually really easy to do, I'm pretty sure. So basically, what you're supposed to do is you are supposed to go uh, over here. Uh, so the first thing you need to do is you need to insert a part. Insert a part. Yeah, just a regular part. You can make this like a portal, portal thing. I don't know. You can make this like, like this. I'm, I'm gonna make like a portal thing. Or just like, you can make this bigger. Um, let's just make it like red. And apparently zero point five. Um, and, and let's also to add the other stuff. Let me just do this. So, so I'm gonna also add the other stuff. So let me just do that. Uh, zero. So let me just like do something like this. Uh, hold on. I need to. Yeah. So since I'm doing this, you can do whatever. Uh, it doesn't really matter. Oh, so then you have to when you do this. So we just like do this. Uh, portal. So I'll do that one now. Oh yeah, and I also need to put this into here. You don't have to do this. I'm just doing it for more reason. Oh yeah. Uh, and now we have to do the scripting. So for the scripting, we're supposed to put a script here. Uh, let's name it. What is this name? It teleport. So for it, sure, do that, do that. And then, uh, this is where we get to the scripting. So, what you're gonna do is, uh, we're gonna go to, uh, where was it? Oh yeah, uh, uh the part punch. Right here, part punch. And then, execute when script.parent is touched. So that means we're looking to the script, and then the parent of that script, which is the point. Or in that case, uh, whatever you made the portal card, whatever. Yeah. Um, and then you gotta put output here to hit it, or whatever. And then what it's gonna do is you're gonna get player from character, so right here essentially. It's gonna go over here. And then we're gonna player, and player is just, you're supposed to add player or any name. And then for the character, you're supposed to put the uh, the name that you put for other parts. So in this case, it's hit. And then dot parent. So it's gonna look into the parent of the object that is called hit because you output hit to the object. I mean to the part that is called hit. So after you do that, uh, this is where actually it teleports you to the player. So you're gonna get this block in here. And in players on actions, this block with, with the lightning icon. Teleport to place. It's on the player section. And then this is where you need to like go back to like any game you like. So you should just just go like with like, any game you like, and then and then just put the place ID here. So we're gonna put later. And then uh, since I remember like a lot of my uh uh like since I can essentially just uh, go to my profile and find my ID. Because I know I, I have like a bunch of things on my computer, so I can find it. Uh, here it is. I can get this, I can go back to here. And then place ID. And I'm pretty sure it's like this. And then let's try 19. No, I'm sure like 20, like 20. Oh, yeah. So, um, if you do this, it'll get hashtag. I don't know about that. I, I I don't really know why it does that. See, I just I, I don't really know why it does that. It just does. 
Oh, uh, what you could do is like, uh, you can like set a variable in there. So set variable to set a uh, ID to number and then this. Yeah, like that, like that, like that. Uh, and then we can do like, we can do like, uh, this. Oh, what? Okay, so, so actually you're not supposed to do that. So it's actually the string value. So if you do string, and you put this in here, it, it's getting a hashtag. So that's the problem. And I don't really know how to figure it because like, that's not really a retro studio problem. That's more of a... That's more of a Roblox problem because of the bad moderation. So we're supposed to put something in this, but no, no, no. So, so this probably is going to Make sure you update the place. So update successfully. Uh, you gotta go exit. So this is where you guys it from. Okay, there we go. We got back. Alright, creating assets. Yeah, okay, so we're back in the home page. This is what we're going to, to build. Oh yeah, it's an underscore. Yeah, so it's actually an underscore. Oh, so I'm gonna do this game. Oh, automatic time and set. Automated time and set. Automated time and set game I made a long time, uh, a while ago. So it's. So we got, so you gotta copy this down. Uh, I don't know why I can like highlight things in here, but I just go into And then, uh, go back to edit. Go back to the place that you're editing. So in this case, it's my script testing game. And then, uh, we're just, what you're gonna do is you're gonna go back to, uh, the portal. Oh, back into here. Teleport. Teleport player to this. Yeah, there we go. It doesn't actually have to have this time. So yeah, there we go. So it's gonna teleport. So it's gonna basically look into your profile or anybody's profile. And then what it's gonna do is it's going to look into what game has this exact ID. And then what it's gonna do is that it's gonna go back into the game and then it's gonna make like the ID like the place that you're going to go so out when you touch the part. So when the part is touched, it's gonna get player from character, so you're, it's gonna get that you're a player from the part that you touched, so hit that panel, and it's gonna teleport you to the place. So in this case, it's a teleport player. Um, let's test it. So we're gonna test it. Uh, there we go. Cast me. Yeah, but don't worry about that, that's just a tutorial I saw a long time ago. So you're supposed to go here. Yeah, look, cannot teleport in studio. But, uh, that's only because, um... Oh yeah, and, uh, since we are using get player from character, yeah, you will get, uh, the, this, this error. But it doesn't actually matter because it will still work. It's just that you're using get player from character. So it's like, you know, also if you use player added, I'm pretty sure that will teleport every single person. Because if you use player added, then it's gonna classify as everyone as the as the player. So that's not really what you wanna do. So yeah, so it says cannot tell the uh in the studio, so we're gonna update the place. And we're actually gonna test it like in game. So we're gonna go back. Wait a while, it takes a while to go back. For your loading assets, and then go to build. The, go to the game that you know you you put you put the game that you put the portal or the portal thing. And then now, if you touch the thing, teleport started, and then it's gonna teleport you. Uh, it's taking a while. Oh, yeah, 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 okay. And then, it's gonna teleport you to the game that you put it on. As a, also, yes, in my time second. So, it's gonna take a while, 
boy is still gonna teleport me. So that's it. But if you if you don't wanna follow this tutorial, or all you could do is just go back. What what you could what you could essentially do is just go back. So go back here, and then uh go in the free model. So uh, yeah. So go in the free model. And then you could uh, just search up a uh, place teleporter right here. And then you could just put your ID right here. So just put your ID right here and then it will actually teleport you. But if you know what to do and, and, and you want to make like your own custom one, then you could do what I do. Uh, of course, you can make it more detailed than this because this is not, you know, it's not the most proficient thing I made. So yeah. And that's pretty much how you uh how you make a place teleporter. So yeah. It's actually yeah, it's like really easy but I kinda messed up in the hashtag thing because I thought it was gonna be a hashtag and not an underscore, but yeah, so if you just put the underscore there it's gonna work. So if you, if you wanna look one more time, uh this is the code right here. Uh like all of this is the code, like all of this. Yeah, so all you need the code that you need to actually make it work. So part touch, output hit to hit, that player from character, output player from hit that parent. So hit that parent up here, player here, so it's just the name of the other part that you got down here. And then teleport player, so the player, and then your Retro Studio Place ID right here. Oh, and uh, this will not work with, um, this will not work with any Roblox places because it's teleporting you to a retro studio place, not a Roblox place. Because this is retro studio, not Roblox, alright? So yeah, that's basically what you do to make a place teleporting. Um also uh hold on, let me export this. Yes, okay. So I'll also leave this model right here. This model, I'll leave this model right here. So uh, uh, I'll leave it in the description so like you can you guys can like just not follow this entire tutorial and just kind of like you know just get the model and you can just use the this portal part. So yeah, this is gonna be the model. If you don't want to code and you're lazy, you can just get the model right here. So yeah, that's the model. And uh, okay, um, yeah, and then I'll video. Okay, bye.